Hello everyone. Yeah, just doing my own little uh, follow-up about uh, the Biggie and Tupac uh, murders. Yeah, this is uh, about um, Gene the bodyguard, as they call him. Um, I think it was um, Puffy's uh, ex-bodyguard. But yeah, check it out. This is his theory. We applied to Suge Knight's prison to get permission to film. In the meantime, Valletta put us in touch with Biggie's bodyguard. Valletta said he had a strange encounter when he was standing with Puffy just before Biggie got shot. Gene, the bodyguard, lives here in Upper Manhattan. I heard he was at least six foot seven. Gene's apartment had a great view. I asked him why his blinds were normally down and not open. Uh, black people don't do that. They go on the clear. I don't want you to see. <laughs> I want to be running out the door with your television. <laughs> Yo, they got a TV and it's color. <laughs> they don't want that type of the shit. blinds is a white person's thing. No, I didn't say that. Oh. I say having your windows wide open so everybody can see you, it's a white person thing. See, look. You can tell white people live over there. <laughs> all the windows, See all the windows are open? <laughs> Look at the building. White people coming out that building, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll bear that in mind. Huh? I asked Gene why Biggie's friends hadn't been more cooperative with the police. I wouldn't be talking to you if it wasn't for Miss Wallace. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If she wasn't pouring on hard crime, I wouldn't be saying jack shit to you. You understand? I think, yeah, some of the other people in the whole crew should have came forward. Yeah, I believe that. You understand? Because I believe Big is uh, turning over in his grave because people ain't coming to the forefront for his mother. He, They knew he loved his mother. He cared for his mother, whatever like that. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody do. Everybody care for their mom. You understand? And I just believe that maybe some people should have came forward and then maybe people just want to just say, listen, here, I'm going to leave this shit alone. You know, that's their own choice. I'm going to eat, man. You know what I'm saying? Bad boy, biggie, whoever, whatever. If I got to shovel shit for a living, I'm going to eat. I showed Gene the police oh, composites of the hitman. So do you, uh, do you recognize any of these pictures here? This is the individual that... That one. This one right here. That one. Yeah. That's the one Lucy's did for the police. That's him right there. That's him? Yeah. That's him. That's the guy that came up to me. That guy? Wait, that that guy, guy right there. That's him? Yeah. Were you ever shown his picture before? That's definitely him, though. That's Harry Billups, isn't it? That's who? He's called Harry Billups. Amir or Amir Mohammed, right? That's his name. That was the guy. You can really remember a face that well, well. You'd be surprised why. I believe you, actually. Mm -hmm. I had him to the T before um, P called me that morning. He said, a guy in the nation of Islam shot big. And I said, yo, dog, he had the blue suit, blue bow tie, white shirt, peanut head, receding hairline, brown skin. He was like, yeah, dog, how you know? I said, a nigga came up to me first. I said, he came to us first. He walked up the Puff van. And I got him off. And he was like, get the fuck out of here. I was like, yeah, straight up, for real. 
He came up there first. It's amazing the police never showed you that still picture before. Can we call him? Nope. They never showed it to you before. They showed me a lot of other shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they, they absolutely never showed you that picture. I can't recall them showing me that picture. 